And it and V2 is here. And if you're running production workflow, especially for clients, you need to understand what's changing. This is on hype, this is architecture. I'm going to walk you through what actually matters in this update. Why execution reliability is much better and exactly how to migrate without breaking anything. Let's explore what's real. Mark this date, December 8. Beta release, do not put production workflows here. December 15th, first stable version release. March 15th, version one reaches end of life. It is the end of security update. So you have three months migration window. That's not a lot of time if you're running complex client infrastructure. So why is this update exist? So most people focus on the UI and it's true that is nice. This is RC candidate because we are on December 7. Here you can see the settings are in the sidebar. It's much more practical. You don't have to do another click. The interface is much slicker and nice. But here's what actually matters. Execution architecture. N8 and V2 rewrite how workflow execute. They've moved to mandatory task runners with process isolation. So what does this mean? Before in V1, all workflow execution ran in the same process. So if one workflow crashed, it could take down your entire N810 instance and memory leaks in one automation affected everything. Code not failures were catastrophic. After in V2, each execution run in an isolated container. Workflow crashes are contained. They don't cascade. CPU heavy tasks don't freeze your editor. AI calls, long loops, large data processing, all safely isolated. So this is the foundation for horizontal scaling, distributed architecture and enterprise grade reliability. This architecture shift prepares NA10 for the next decade of automation. The autosave feature everyone is excited about, including me. So it's not in December 15 release. It's coming in January 2026. So don't expect it immediately, but when it arrives, it will save you work automatically. So no more losing 100 node workflow if your browser crash. The sub workflow change. So this one confused people. So let me explain it clearly. When a parent workflow calls a sub workflow, the child, and that sub workflow enters on a waiting state, like waiting for a webhook or from submission or a human in the loop approval. The parent workflow would receive the incorrect data in V1. Specifically, the parent will receive the input to the sub workflow, not the output. Here's an example. Parent workflow calls a sub workflow to process a client approval. So the sub workflow sends a telegram message asking for approval, waits for response, enter in the waiting state, then received approved or declined. So in V1, the parent workflow would receive the original input data. So the approval request, not the actual response approved or declined. In V2, the parent workflow correctly receives the output from the sub workflow, the actual approval decision. So why this matters, you can now use human in the loop nodes, Slack approvals, Telegram response, form submissions inside a sub workflow and actually use the results in your parent workflow. This unlocks approval chains, conditional logic based on human decision and sophisticated multi-step automation. So if you have sub workflow that use wait nodes, webhook nodes, Form nodes or human in the loop nodes, you need to review them before migrating. By the way, if you're a business owner and you're thinking, I need automation, but I don't have the time to learn this. I offer production ready automation consulting. So book a free strategy call. We'll audit your business processes, identify where you're losing the most time and money and build systems that reclaim 20 plus hour every week. So you don't need to understand the technical architecture. That's my expertise. And if you want to learn how to build this system yourself, 
Join me in the early AI doctors community. I host weekly live build sessions where we build production ready automations together in real time. Link in the description. Now let's dive into the critical breaking changes. First, MySQL and MariaDB are removed. So if you're using MySQL and MariaDB as your NA10 database, you must migrate to Postgres SQL before upgrading to V2. This is non-negotiable. V2 will not connect to MySQL. Two, environment variables are blocked in code node. So for security, code nodes can no longer access process.env by default. So if your workflow reads API keys from environment variables in code nodes, set NA10 block env access in node equals fails in your environment configuration. Or better approach, use credential or secure method instead. Third, task runners are mandatory. All code node execution now run on isolated task runners by default. So this is the architecture shift I mentioned earlier. It's what makes V2 production ready. Four, dangerous code nodes are disabled. Execute command and local file trigger nodes are disabled for security. So if you need them, manually enable them in your configuration. But Ask yourself, do you really need to run arbitrary commands on your server? File access are restricted. By default, file operations are restricted to the .na10 files directory. So if your workflow access files elsewhere, configure NA10 restrict file access to with your desired path. Now let's see how to migrate safely. So first you need to update to the version 1.1. 1 to 1.0 minimum because this version includes the migration report tool. So to access it, you need to go to settings and to migration report. So this tool scans all your workflows and tell you exactly what will break in V2. Step two, analyze the report. So the tool shows the workflow issues. So in my case, I see that I have issues into workflows and instance issues here. So these are the global configuration problems. So for each issue, critical means fix before upgrading or workflow will fail. Medium may cause unaccepted behavior and low are minor deprecations. So click into each issue to see affected workflows and documentation. So for each flag workflow, check if it is critical. If yes, fix it now in V1. If no, delete it and clean up your instance. Then backup everything. So export all workflows using the NA10 node get many workflows. Dump your database and copy your NA10 data folder and store it in a cloud storage. Then test in staging first and then upgrade to production. So who should worry most? So NA10 cloud user. Your infrastructure is managed, just review the migration report and fix workflow logic. That's it. Self-hosted with simple setup. If you're running Docker plus Postgres SQL without complex scripts, the impact is moderate. Just update the image, run migration, fix flagged workflow, and proceed with caution. Then self-hosted, but with a complex setup. So if you're using MySQL, running Python script that with custom libraries, reading local files, or using the execute command node, you're in the red zone. So you need a detailed migration plan. Rebuild Docker image, migrate database, audit every custom configuration. NA10 v2 is the biggest architectural shift since the platform launch. The execution isolation alone makes this worth migrating to. But migrate intelligently, use the migration report, test in staging, have a rollback plan. This is how you build systems at last. Now, if you're a business owner who needs production-ready automation done for you, book a free strategy call. We'll audit your business, 
processes and build the custom automation roadmap that reclaims your time and increases your capacity. You don't need to understand the technical architecture. That's my expertise. Link in the description. And if you want to learn how to build production ready systems like you, this yourself, join me in the early AI adopters community. I host weekly live build session where we create these systems together in real time. You get access to a comprehensive courses production-ready templates, direct expert support from multiple coaches, and a network of serious builders. It's where I dedicate most of my teaching time. Link below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, comment. This will please the YouTube algorithm and will help me to produce more. See you in the next one. Bye.